Namaskar, welcome to my new vlog. So this will be a simple vlog, like a day in my life. So right now here you can see the mango tree in which all the mango are ripened and plucked from the trees and I also bought some noodles and noodles masala to make the noodles. And right now here we can see lots of bags in which there is mix of soil and some ashes and other types of natural organic materials like leaves and everything which is kept like this to make like uh, decomposed after that it is used in all the plants and trees. So these are some from our garden. We have the ripe brinjal to make mainly the plants out of it and here we have the pineapple head which is mainly used to regrow the pineapple. So all these things are uh, grown by my father and by my uncle and I am just making a video. So this is the forest mango which is given by one of our friend from Barkur which we mainly uh, make some uh, like a sweet or paisam out of it which is very tasty and these are the normal mangoes some uh, ripe and some normal tender mangoes. So. After that, I went to Zudio for some shopping as well to buy some t-shirt and some pant. So here they have a very good discount and in within 1000 we will get a very good items. So these are some food videos. For the afternoon, I made some Konkani style dal in which you need to pressure cook the dal, very good washed dal. After that, take all the ingredients and the hing or the isopheroid is very important. After that, give it a simple tadka. So for the lunch we have some rice and red papad and this dalitai or the dal konkani style dal which I made this which was very creamy very tasty. The main thing is from the hing and from the red chilli green chilli along with some salt it is a simple dal preparation and I also made a mango chutney and water is kept uh, under that to prevent it from spoiling otherwise you can keep it in the fridge as well so these are some homemade pickles which is made up of made from the piece mangoes where a small mango is chopped into small small pieces so in the evening next day i made some noodles so for that i'll going to give a rough recipe not a detailed recipe so for that boil your noodles perfectly by adding salt and oil and some water to prevent the stickiness so like this it will be perfect and rest it under the fan so that it will become non-sticky and for the vegetable you can take anything mushroom paneer and baby corn corn and cabbage and some red chili also for the tadka because it will give a nice taste and we are making that chili garlic noodles so this is a special one and after that take carrot capsicum green chili anything and some onion as well so the main thing is take some oil, ginger garlic paste and green chilli and red chilli. The main thing is the flavour should be infused inside that. So that's why it is called as the chilli garlic noodles because till the last bite of your noodles from the starting bite you need to get that chilli garlic smell or that aroma so that infuse the flavour for 5 to 10 minutes after that take all the vegetables add that and add garam masala all types of sauces and add that one to three noodles masala or maggi masala anything like that mix this very well and cook it for 60 percent because while eating the noodles or while eating the fried rice you need to get that tenderness or that uh, bite of that vegetable by using that same base you can make macaroni fried rice anything after that sprinkle a little bit of water for the perfect moistness so let's taste our noodles Okay, after the taste we can mainly get the flavor of from that chili and from that ginger garlic because we have infused that flavor in the oil which we have cooked it for 5 to 10 minutes in a low flame. So that through the entire bite you can get that flavor. So last week me and my friends went to top in town restaurant in Udupi. So my friend gave a birthday party. So here we have their famous ghee rice and the gravy and some onion as well. So first let's taste this ghee rice. 
so the rice had a very good flavor of all that garam masala and the perfect ghee to that and along with that chicken gravy it was very good and you can get uh, as much as gravy as, as uh, if you want to refill the gravy it, which is very good and the main thing here is the kebab the fried kebab which is very big in size and you can choose any kebab that you want and the main thing is the perfect crispiness so it was very good so that's it for today's video i hope you like this video let us meet in the next video please subscribe my channel bye bye